In this steady state circuit analysis problem, we're given the current and voltage and we're required to find omega, the angular frequency. We're talking steady state, so what better tool to use than the phasor transformation? We'll transform the voltage to its phasor, the current to its phasor, and then find the impedance of each component. The impedance of a resistor is its resistance, in this case 600 ohms. The impedance of an inductor is J omega L, in this case J 3.2 omega. And the impedance of a capacitor is 1 over J omega C or negative J over omega C. Let's plug in the value of C and this is what we get. We're now ready to take the circuit to the frequency domain and work over there. We'll find the equivalent impedance of those three series components. And the key thing here is that this circuit impedance is the ratio of the phasor voltage to the phasor current. The phasor voltage is simply 40 phase negative 15 as given, but the current is given in a sign and the reference phasor is usually a cosine. So we'll have to subtract 90 degrees from the phase leading to negative 68.13 degrees. Also, the current is in milliamperes, so it's gonna be 0.04 and not 40. Okay, to divide two complex numbers, you divide their magnitudes and subtract the phases. This must be equal to the above expression for Z equivalent. Let's convert it to Cartesian form, we'll have 1000 cosine the angle plus j 1000 sine the angle. The real part is 600 as it should be. So let's focus our attention on the imaginary part. We'll factor out a j and compare imaginary to imaginary. Very good. The right hand side simplifies to 800 and multiplying by omega we now have this quadratic equation which we can easily solve, we get omega equals 500 or negative 250. Of course, we only keep the positive solution. So, under the given steady state conditions, the angular frequency must be 500 radians per second.